All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Whoa, whoa, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. Oh, if you do it, this works more. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. 
Jeez. Hey there, big fella. I got him. Right, quick, hit him. Not bad idea, right now. Damn it. Get him. Hey, you spill more drink. There's a private party or can I join in? Take him down! What the hell you got? What do you think? Man, this got out of hand in a hurry. Second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Okay, ready for more. Uh, this, this is exhausting. I have the steroids, pal. Gonna need a plunger. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Here. You can get out the back. You look like shit. Ugh. And smell like it. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! How's that for you? Ready to go, kid? Yeah. Let's go. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. You've had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protégé, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets, or blood, or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. 
Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cutter! Oh no, oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Ah, oh, come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What? This is Sane, and welcome to my Let's Play. Sorry I didn't do any intro in the beginning, because uh, fucking HDTCP settings are a piece of shit, but if they do fuck up, I'm just gonna like edit them and put the cutscenes together. So, you know. And this is his book. I'm cycling through the pages. This game has a few glitches, which are kind of annoying. So I can't give the game 10 out of 10, it's probably a 7 out of 10. But hopefully I have high hopes for Uncharted 4, okay? I'm hopefully to give that game a 10 or a 9. It's just The Last of Us, I gave a 9. Look at this book again, and we were in the clarity. That's it. There was a few treasures there in the beginning. I was trying to show you behind the the bar and when I when you threw that guy when I threw that guy out the window. That was a treasure. Around that area. There's a treasure in these cannons. So there's a some glarity from the sun here. Looks like an eclipse or something. There's a treasure right here. This looks like the area from the Walking Dead Museum, except this is not broken down. Maybe upstairs. <sighs> Since I'm a video game designer, and it takes a lot of patience and time to illustrate all these levels. Some people probably have no idea how much work it actually is. What the fuck those HD TCP settings? In one of these cases. For PS4 is just the worst. Oh, I could touch this. Aye, aye, sailor. Run. Oh, can I not? Oh, I can. I can actually control this. I didn't know that. All right. That's a little nice little acting shreds game or something. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. So it closes in 15 minutes. Aren't we translating this shit? The subtitles on? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it doesn't translate Spanish. Like in subtitles or something. There's a Bioshock easter egg here. By the way, I hate Bioshock. I think it's the worst game ever. Wait, here it is. Oh, is it that the one? Oh, 
Te agarré, ratita callejera. Suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Quédate afuera. Pendejo. Oh, there he is. And we're back. I don't talk during cutscenes, but uh, I think it's only the fucking movies. It's only the movies that that screw up here with the HDCTCP settings or whatever, right? It's fucking retarded. Cause all the all the PC, Xbox, and Wii doesn't do it. PlayStation is the only console that does it, so PlayStation's garbage. If I can't record because of the stupid ass setting. That already disabled, and then it still lacks its own Gosh, fucking functionality. It's pretty bad. It's horrible. But aside from ranting out of how bad PlayStation is, let's just enjoy uh, the view here. Luckily, it doesn't fuck up during gameplay sc scenarios. Ah, only movies. There he is. So it fucks up during movies. I have to, you know, record the movie and then put the shit into editing software and then link the movie together which is gonna take way more time with rendering and since this is a 1080 HD it's gonna take longer and I don't have the patience we're gonna take cover here this guy riding a motorcycle this is not suspicious whatsoever Oh, it is. Don't mind if I do. Vete de aquí, limonero! It was rotten anyway. I'm sure it was. There was flies all over. This is like a fruit stand. Where did he go? This is in Colombia, by the way. We took screenshots and stuff last video that somehow got corrupted. Okay, so I had to do this recording again. That's why I didn't do an introduction in the beginning. Okay, if you're wondering. Just went right into the action with no commentary. Where is he going? Hopefully this commentary works. There's a treasure here. We're gonna enjoy the environment. Look at the surrounding area, because it took a lot of time to make this game. There's a treasure up those stairs, by the way. Um, there's a car there. Looks like Uncharted 2 in the city, in a way. Except no destruction. This is like a butcher shop. Isn't the meat rotten? If it's hanging like that? Oh. Maybe they put salt on it or something. No idea. Yeah, what's he doing? Oh, looks like he's going inside. What is this? a palm tree here. Ah, damn. It's 
locked. Looks like he's going upstairs. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. Hey, it's a... What do they call that? I forgot what they call that car. Let's climb up this pipe. Looks very unsafe. What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, I don't want to rush it now, but can you move it along? Yeah, I got you. Just that I got a lady with you. You know how that is. What is he doing? That's a ticket. Oh, he's duping a key. Adios, amigo. Okay, I gotta get that wallet. Crap, I can't go down that way. <laughs> Good old cigar. Some Assassin's Creed tailing stuff. There's a treasure here, by the way. Let's jump on this 24 hour sign. He's cutting through that building. I bet I can oh, spot don't, him from the fall. I guess we have to yeah. jump. Alright, there we go. Don't slip on these tiles. Oh, who's your friend? Well, we all know who that is. It's Marlo. What the fuck her name is. There's a treasure up here on this hole. This is 20 years earlier, so he has to have been at least like 14. That guy's probably 30. Damn it. Don't want to go down there. I gotta find a way to get that wallet. Alright, let's do it. Okay. It's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. The technique is really sloppy, though. You telegraph in all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. It's 
telegraphing all my moves, huh? Museum's closed. All right. Doing some Splinter Cell Assassin's Creed work right here. Normally, in real life scenarios, when you steal, it's not really the pleasant thing. Sully's a good man. We know that. There it is. Ah, oh, that was close. Normally I gotta go up, but if you go down, there is a treasure. It's right there beside the bench. Game's graphics are pretty good, better than Uncharted 2. Skeleton up there. There's churches on each side of the room, and let's do the cutscene. Look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now. The ring. What ring? Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> Holy crap! He has the ring! God. He's heading for the roof! Catch him! <laughs> Chains! Break it! Hurry! Let's go! Ugh. Shit! <sighs> oh, crap! Who the hell are these guys? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shaking for. Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so... Like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. You look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway... I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. 
First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? OK. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. I thought you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You head-butted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? 